Hey, I'm Chris. And I'm Rich. And this is Two Wheels Big Life. And we're coming to you from our garage in Denton, Texas. Yep. We wanted to let you know that right before COVID-19 became a big thing in the United States, we were traveling down the road of number one, we quit our jobs. Number two, we put our house on the market. And number three, we sold most of our possessions. Why? We'll take a look at this video. <laughs> okay, so look, look straight at the camera. Uh -huh. I have a question for you. What's that? How about if we sell the house, kick the kids out, and do this full time next summer for six months? All right, I'd six months. Yeah. What happened to the year we talked about? <laughs> um, for a year, we can do that. I meant just on the bikes. Oh, oh, for six months? For six months. Okay. You could do that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, for sure. Okay. If we have time in between places and not rushed, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm in. Just this bump? This bump. All right. Just in case you think we're the worst parents ever about saying kick the kids out. They're, they're only 12 and 14. <laughs> No, no sorry. Not. Sorry, backwards. 21 and 19. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. They're, they're adults. They're fine. They're ready to go. We're ready for them to go. Actually, they're pretty much roommates at this point anyways. Yeah. That brief five minute conversation sparked the road or the path that we are on and has led us to where we are today. Yes. It's kind of funny how those things from the past and you look at them and you're like, oh no, don't say that. Don't say that. We did, but... Well, we did and we had the intention, and I think that's the thing. We, if you are out there, if you're going to do something, put a date to it. Yes. Put a date to it. Yes. Say, we're going to do it. Life's too short. Make it happen. Yes. Figure out a way to make it happen. And understand it's going to get hard. It will. It does get hard. It got hard for us. And if it gets you make those hard. type of decisions, it got hard for you. Because guess what? Boom! Just like that, COVID-19 hit with a vengeance and our house sold in three days. Yes, so, all, at, all at the same time. Yeah, so we are ready, we are just about ready to be homeless and we decided that we needed a um, permanent solution because as you guys all know, the parks are closed, the national parks, the, the BLM, BLM land, land, there's no place everything. for us to go like we were planning on it. And so we need on the a, motorcycles. Yeah. So so we need a permanent place so that we can hunker down, we can follow the stay at home, shelter in place orders, just like you guys are doing. We want to also adhere to that. So we had some wonderful friends step up and they have a house in Albuquerque, New Mexico that we can go to. So we are gearing up and getting ready to we are gonna make a mad dash <laughs> for New Mexico, six hundred and some miles, all in one day. It'll be good, and then we'll be able to wait this thing out for a month or two, just like you guys are doing, and then try to figure out what our next step is. Yeah, where because a couple of our things that we had planned, those have been either pushed back or even canceled, yeah. and there's just a few left that we're thinking of doing. So we're just, we're having to adjust, and just know that when you make these plans or you you think you have it all in order, something will happen, and you have to adjust. Be willing to adjust. Yes. All right, enough talking. It's time to get into it. All right, let's come around here to the back. In the back, in this, if you watched our previous videos, we had Martha, and that was for Martha Stewart. Gotta love Martha. Martha as in Martha Stewart, because Martha Stewart has everything in here that we need for, for cooking. That's what this is. This is gonna be our trunk or our pantry. We've got a large wash basin. I've also got, this is uh, kind of the kitchen area. We've got, I've got some plates, some forks and spoons, wine opener, some mixing stuff, a whisk, a cheese grater, those kind of things that'll be uh, inside here. Also, um, I personally like to cook with cast iron. So we've got a pot with some stuff in here and we've got iron pan that's down on the bottom. Um, olive oil, spices, cups, some sanitation stuff. That's what's inside this bag. This, uh, or this crunk. <laughs> what, what are you doing, Chris? Am I lopsided? Yeah, yeah you're lopsided. <laughs> well, you know, go, we're going on a trip. And normally when you pack for a motorcycle trip, you try to pack as lean as possible to keep 
the bike as light as possible because the saying has always been, there's a Walmart in just about every town. And that was pre-COVID-19. Post-COVID-19 or during COVID-19 where we are right we're, now. And we're trying to move. That, yes, there are still Walmarts out there. Yes, they're still open, but they don't have all the stuff that you need. So I thought I would bring some stuff to let me you unzip her. I thought I would bring some stuff to negotiate with. You know, like, hey, I have a half a bottle of hand sanitizer. You want to trade that steak? Or, hey, I've got toilet paper. I don't want to leave this stuff at home. I'm going to stick it wherever I can. <laughs> More toilet paper. Do you know this stuff is gold? Right now. We've been locking everything up because not that we want anything stolen of our normal stuff like cameras. We don't want our toilet paper and our hand sanitizer stolen. That's right. So, yeah. Yeah, bring an extra. You're stuffing yourself? Stuff. You're stuffing your shirt? Yeah. You don't really need to stuff it. Well, you never know. You, you know, if I have to, if I have to trade something, <laughs> somebody might be attracted to a 50-year-old lady with toilet paper for boobies. <laughs> House, unfortunately, to another. We're going really heavy. So here's all my bags and another bag with vitamins, and then my tank bag full of I don't know what it is. And I'm Richard's bag. I'm trying to sneak some toilet paper into a duffel bag. Wish me luck. I thought we had these. This is what it's resorted down to. Sleeping on our pads, in our bedroom, in our empty house, without our animals and our children. Okay, it is almost 5 a.m. Get ready to hit the road. back for these tit stakes that fell out of Richard's I don't even know what you call that Welcome to the post-COVID, post-COVID world. No, we weren't going to say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're just having lunch outside because we enjoy being outside. <laughs> All right, Richard's going to go and weigh his motorcycle. Let's guess. You see the bike's 800. I won't tell you how much Richard is. I'm going to say 1650. That's my guess.
so I'm enough to move the scale, so she should be able to weigh it. Will she come back on and say something? Okay, we can't pull the ticket, but you're right. Oh, I win. Oh my gosh, my wife is within 30 pounds. <laughs> awesome. Too much weight. Now, 1680 do I, pounds. Do I, have to, bike. do I have to worry now? No, you don't have to worry now. It's still good. It pulls well. I got it balanced. I've got it balanced real well. You know, I got I got enough weight on the tongue. I don't know exactly what it is, but it pulls straight. It doesn't feel like it's sagging. I got 50 psi in the air shocks on the bush tech, and I got 48 psi on the on the Harley. That seems like a lot 16 of weight. Alone. It is a lot of weight. <laughs> yeah. It is a lot of weight. But that's funny. Wow. That's cool though. Okay, we made it. <laughs> 631 miles. Yeah, you have to get in the sun, otherwise everybody's dark. Oh, okay. If you keep turning, I'm like trying to hold her back. I'm like, get over here. I was trying to get out of the sun. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, we're gonna go settle in. <laughs> That's it. You're dead. <laughs> That's it. You're usually talking everybody's ear off with this, and now, okay. now you're like, it has been. Okay, what time is it? Um. 5 30 6 oh, 6 oh, 7 when okay. we landed here. We, we left we got up at 5 we left at 7 we hit 7 eight. Texas time yes and so it's been a long day long windy day <laughs> Try, been, have to, you been busy has it been bugged has the wind been bad no you? no it hasn't been bad it hasn't been bad but for me. nobody gave us the stink eye I was very I was really kind of concerned yeah, no stink eye <laughs> so it's all good <laughs> all right we can hold up here now till the crazy's over yep